You heard the title. Book 2 of the Mimic has many monsters that were redesigned into current monsters or completely scrapped. This video will be comparing them and which monsters they were originally supposed to be. Starting off, the first monster that chases us, Rin originally had a different design. Her design looks much more human and looks a lot more like the one that was in the book. We can notice the new Rin looks more monstrous and is missing a bottom jaw. She also got other changes like lipstick different hair, nose, eyes, and darker shading like on her face. She had a different chasing animation looking like she is swimming in water. Her chase theme was also slowed down where the new one is faster. Onto her jump scare. The shaking is a bit more uneven and it has Tsukiya's jump scare noise. In her rampage form, she has the original head instead. Something interesting to note is that in the original Rampage it didn't have hair tentacles and you could hear Maya's screams that were removed later. And my last note, her original hair actually matched the hair that was on the mouth unlike the new one. In the original trailer you can see Suskiya. Her design is slightly different however. It isn't super noticeable but the red things on her kimono were different and her head was sized differently. Moving on to chapter 2 already. Instead of the fat frog Kashin Bo being in the kitchen it was a monster called as Hinaga and Tenaga. The name might be pretty familiar because the file's name for Kishinbo is Ashina which led to people thinking that was her name. The monster resembled two guys that were piggybacking each other one with long arms and short legs and vice versa. And this was their jump scare. Now you might recognize they look like Ryoshi. Mostly the top one with the same face, long arms and short legs. Not only the design, but their chase theme was supposed to be the same music that plays when Ryoshi comes down the tower. According to the urban legend Ashinaga and Tenaga worked together to fetch fish so maybe it was originally fish in the kitchen instead of me? In the trailer instead of Zuboshi the Krad, this guy was the thing eating food from overcooked. There's not really anything important to say so let's just compare them.
This guy with a skull head probably was late in development since he already had animations. Weirdly I feel like he has a ton of features that other monsters share like the arms and body moving like Ryoshi, hair like Sensei. It's just Dotomiki but with eyes instead of being stitched together. The wings on her head are also black though instead of brown. I'm glad they did go with this design since it looks really goofy. Something I like though is that the eyes look like the yin you pick up. She also had this concept design where she looks really different and old. You can definitely see how the design looks different but also similar. Father used to look more nightmarish and crawled around. He looks like he was in a fire. This design looks just like the final one but with small changes like the eyes. This animation also has him reaching his hands out. Weirdly enough, in a jump scare you won't normally see in game, it looks just like the animation. Yugi used to be different as well, he had a different walking animation, his eyes poke through the mask with no mouth. He wields a blade instead of mochi. Yuri's old design looks like what you would think of as a typical Japanese ghost. Her design would have also appeared in an overall scrap part that probably turned into the forest Yuri resides in today. The design looks a lot like Sadako who was really similar to her because they are both Yuri's that are on Rose. But that's about it. Like, subscribe, and comment down below.